What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another mail day from you guys as well as an opening for one of you guys. I'm going to be opening 20 Turbo Pack 3s, hopefully another Caius, the Shadow Monarch. Last time I said Mega Monarch every time, Shadow Monarch. So hopefully we will pull that for Josh. And then we have two packages. So I think we're going to start with the packages, open them up, then we'll do the opening. It's going to be a lot of fun. So here we go. All right, we have the trusty scissors. Let's start off with this one. Chop this open. And let's see what is inside. What has been sent to us? Oh, I definitely should have done the giveaway. The giveaway, one second. I will show you guys as soon as I'm done chopping this. Here we go. All right. Speaking of giveaways, I just posted all the giveaways yesterday on the community tab. Check it out. It should pop up. It's on my YouTube page. Go check it out over there and see if you guys won. Then message me on Instagram, preferably. Anything else is okay, but I'm much more likely to get, get your stuff shipped quickly. It's on Instagram. Okay, giveaway for this video, a B-Skull Dragon common. Also a Dark Paladin common. Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons, from the newest set, Rise of the Duelist. Jar of Greed, this one's from Labyrinth of Nightmare, an original super rare, and a Fire Princess from Labyrinth of Nightmare. So a pretty cool five card giveaway. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite thing from the viewer mail or from the turbo packs. Either one is acceptable for the giveaway. Okay, let's get into this and let's see what we were sent. Okay, it looks like a deck box is the only thing in here. There's no, okay, is there a note? Okay, so this one's from Brad. We'll call him Brad. We're not gonna give him away his whole name. Oh, here we go. Here's the note. All right, nice. Let's open it up and see what he has to say. Dear Ruxin, it's been awesome watching your journey explode over the last six months. So I wanted to gift you some of the cool old Yu-Gi-Oh toys from back in the day. Just hold one up to the light and it really makes the pictures pop. I figured you could use these in giveaways or even keep them yourself. Also, a gift, Levianir, Le Levianir, you never know, I would never know how to say it. Keep on being awesome. I'll be awaiting a pack battle someday. YouTube, Brad's TCG Lounge. So there you go. Brad's TCG Lounge, that's his YouTube page. Let's see what he sent us. Okay, he said toys, so, so I'm interested to see what that means. Oh, okay, I see here. So first of all, this is for me. Awesome, thank you. Okay, whoa, what do we got here? This is pretty cool, actually. Okay, so hold them up to the light. Okay, I'm confused. Didn't he, okay, where's the note? What did he say? Just hold one up to the light. It really makes the pictures pop. All right, hold it up to the light. So like, is it this way? Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, because if this way, it'd be backwards. Okay, I thought it was gonna like shine or something. I'm confused. Am I doing it wrong? Let me know if I'm doing it wrong. I mean, but this is cool either way, whether or not I'm doing it right or wrong. <laughs> Vorse Raider, so we have Vorse Raider. Maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Mega Zowler. Man, that's a throwback, Mega Zowler. <laughs> okay. Two-headed King Rex. Okay, these are sweet. Okay, so what are these exactly? Uh, these seem familiar. I feel like I might have had some of these, but I don't remember what they're from. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Check that out. Hey, look, it says Black Dragon, like the newest one that came out in the uh, Legendary Duel of Season 1. Dark Magician. That's pretty cool. Did these come in those like little minifigure things? The Earl of Demise. What a classic. That's awesome. Earl of Demise. Exodia! Obliterate! Yeah, that's pretty epic. Hitatsumi Giant. Is that That's the first ever monster summoned in... No. First... It wasn't the first summoned, but it was the first summoned in the duel with Yugi and Kaiba in the first episode. Legendary Fisherman. Karibo! Check out Karibo. Okay, where is Karibo? Oh, there's a bunch of them. That's what's going on. Okay, I was like, whoa. Jinzo. Where's the blue eyes? There's no blue eyes. Jinzo. One of my favorite cards. Check them out. There's one of mine. Back there. Woo. Focus in there. Yeah, Jinzo. So that's pretty cool. Oh, man. I want to know what these are from now. So you guys got to let me know in the comments. What, what were these from again? So I can remember because I can't really remember. So, Brad, these were super cool. I really like when people send in uh, non-TCG. I mean, I love TCG, obviously. That's what I open all the time. 
But seeing this kind of stuff is really cool because it's like the the Yu-Gi-Oh like toys and stuff are like wow I haven't thought about those in a long time but I had a bunch of them so that was really cool guys let's actually let's put the let's put the red eye let's put the Jinzo back there next to the Jinzo boom where's the red eyes no and Exodia we can't forget Exodia Dark Magician too okay let's get both of those we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the scrubs in here even though the scrubs are awesome but they are scrubs <laughs> okay. Red Eyes, Black Dragon, and Dark Magician. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> it's hard to see those back there, but yeah, pretty cool. I'll re-show them later. Wait, wait, wait. If I set them like this, can you see it better? Just kind of hard to see. Oh, okay, whoa, okay, look at that. Maybe that's what he means. That looks really cool. You can really see it really well. This, kind of hard to see because of the light. That's okay. That is okay. All right, on to the next thing. This video is going to get too long, and you guys are going to get mad at me. This one, um, let's see if I can cover it up so you guys can see what's in here. Okay, we can cover up that part. You guys can see my address because that's what you sent to. So he put the uh, anti manga Shonen Jump coming this fall. That's pretty cool for the Yu Gi Oh! the movie. There's my address if you guys want to send me anything for a future mail video. There's been three mail videos already, so it's been pretty cool. Yeah, so let's open this up now that I have covered that up. I don't want to show his address, obviously. All right, so let's do it like that. We'll see if there's a note in here. This one's from Ryan, by the way, if there is no note. Okay, let's get that over there. All right, put the knife aside and let's get into what this is. So we have more of the manga. Oh, look at this. We've got two of the cards from the packs. When you'd open up the movie pack, you either get this card, Wadapon, Pyramid of Light, I think, and Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Those are your options there. What are these cards? Are these Rush? Is that Rush Duel? Bruh. Yeah, Rush. Okay, Rush Duel. There it is. We got Pot of Greed. That's an, a Korean LOB card. That's pretty cool. A lot. He has a lot of these uh, Shonen Jump coming this fall. It's kind of funny. Okay, let's get that over there. Put that up here. Okay, what is this? Oh, whoa, an ultimate rare. Is that an ultimate rare? Wait. Or is it an ultra rare? Maybe it's an ultra rare. I can't see. Okay, let's check it. First of all, I, I still can't tell for some reason. It seems shiny. Is it like... I don't know what this is. It seems like an ultimate rare, because it's not a collector's rare or it would have the texture, right? Yeah, this should be an ulti. It's very flat though, like compared to compared to our ultis. I don't know. I think it's a I think it's an ulti. You guys let me know who are experts on Okay, I don't even know what language this is in. I'm assuming this is Okay, Japanese, JP. Okay, that's OCG. That is probably an ulti. I really don't know as much about Japanese cards, obviously. Okay, oh here we go. What is this? Let's get on to this next thing. What? Okay, what is this? Advertisement. Okay, I'm not sure what that is, but that's cool. From your friend at Zam Zamisus. Yes, that is a Japanese ulti. Oh my! He read my mind. This is crazy. Yes, that's a Japanese ulti. So I'm over here babbling about if it's a Japanese ulti. Flip over the note. Boom. Yes, that's a Japanese ulti. My question has been answered. So you guys can answer in the comments if you want, but he knew. He knew I would be like, what in the world? Is this Japanese or not? Oh, wow. We got some packs in here, guys. We got some packs. Might need those scissors back because I really am terrible at opening Japanese packs. Okay. Here's English. Let's start with this just so uh, I know how to open it. And this is Dimensional Guardians. And I have no idea what's in the set. Oh, and the front is the rare. So we already ruined it. King Synchro. Dark. Dark Resonator. Isn't, isn't that the card that Jack Atlas uses all the time? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, wow. This is some nice packs. Eternity Code. <laughs> if we get a Starlight, I'm going to feel really bad. But also, it's Echo, and we don't pull anything out of Echo. Definitely my worst. Okay. Goki's Guts. So we didn't get anything, but that's that's usual with Echo, so I don't, I don't feel bad about it at all. Ooh, okay, we, we don't want to ruin this one. This one could have a Trish in it. So let's do it like this. It also could have a $20 super rare. It was $20. It's probably less now. 
but it was like a $20 super rare. It's like that Jurat card. So it's a super, so let's see if we can get it. Fabled Pegalasis. Fabled Catfish. Naturia Landios. That looks like Torterra from Pokemon, except with a longer, a longer neck. That's what that looks like. Okay, Duelist Pack Yugi. We can get Dark Paladin. We can get Mirror Force. Okay, this is going to be lit. Monster Reborn. The best rare you can possibly want. Monster Reborn. All right, we're going to go with the last English pack, I think. Rise of Destiny. We've had some really good luck with Rise of Destiny. The Rise of the Destiny. Here we go. Can we pull Machine Dupe? Rock from the Valley of Haze. Necklace of Command. <laughs> the Necklace meme. That is funny. Okay, cool Rise of Destiny pack. Always nice to see that. Now we have some... Okay, I don't know what this is. Limited Edition 4. That looks cool. Oh, there's another English. Okay, let's do the English ones. And then we'll finish with... Oh, we got a movie pack. We got a movie pack. Okay, we got to open this. For the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Premium pack 7. Okay, there's all kinds of great stuff. There's only one card in here. Last time I opened this was the 10K special. Make sure you guys check that out. That was pretty awesome. This is going to be a longer video, by the way. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Here we go. Sorcerer of Dark Magic, second best card you could want. Check that out. Near Mint Condition. Okay, a little scuff on it, but that's okay. For being one card in a pack, not too bad. So we're going to sleeve that one up for sure. We'll sleeve it up with the, uh, with the Shonen Jump in there as well. Pretty cool movie pack pull. Let's put that with our Japanese ulti. Sofu. Thunder Dragons? That's pretty much all I know about this set. Here we go. Can we get something? Jack Jaguar. Mystric Holder. Temple. We, we, this is back when they still had rares, guys. Back when they still had rares. Crazy. Legendary Duelist. Magical Hero. The last, this should be the last English. Then we're on to Japanese and Korean, I believe. Here we go. We pull something cool. Jet Synchron. Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. He's a dragon and a wizard, and you can't really mess with that. Okay. Let's do the Korean packs first. Let's go with LOB Korean. And then we'll do these cool looking ones. Oh, 20th Anniversary Special Pack. I'm pretty sure that's like a really sweet pack. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna save those for last. Okay, you guys always tell me there's a flap to rip it on. Is this it? I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm too weak. No, wait, maybe it's at the top. Is that what this is? Oh, we did it! It only took 40 openings of Korean LOB. By the way, we've opened a million of these. Okay, but now what? It's on the corner. <laughs> yeah, we finally figured it out. We can open the packs without scissors. It still takes me five minutes, so you guys... Are, it takes me longer than a blister pack. Okay. Let's get that over there. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull a blue eyes. No, not even a rare. So, no, we're not going to pull a blue eyes out of that one. Okay, let's see if we can speed it up. Okay, kind of worked. Okay, you're definitely supposed to be able to pull it all the way down, but I'll take I'll take our progress we've made so far. <laughs> Hitatsumi Giant, like we already saw earlier. We've got a man eater. Man eater, sorry, not man eater bug, just man eater. Yeah, these Korean packs, they're they put so many in a box that it's like the ratio of actually pulling of foils pretty low. Okay, hard armor, machine conversion factory, dark energy, Tatsumi giant, stop defense, a rare. Okay, last pack, our chance to get a foil out of LOB. Can it be something good? Can it give us some hope for the 20k special when we open those first edition packs? Here we go. Last chance. From LOB, here we go. Mammoth Graveyard, Hinotama, Beaver Warrior, Vile Germs, and Terra the Terrible Pools. <laughs> Terra the Terrible Pools. Okay, here we go. What do we want to do? We have three more packs. These are from Zam Zamesius. Is that right, Zamesius? Yes. What are we gonna pull? Premium pack seven, limited edition four. I don't even know which one's the best, but I, this one looks cool. This one seems really full, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this one. I might have to cut this open because I don't see a, I don't see a cut on it, guys. You guys will probably tell me there is one, but 
It's just easier to do this. Okay, here we go. We are already way into this video. This is gonna be like a 30 minute video. I'm sorry guys, sorry. Okay. Oh, look how glossy these are, I like that. Return from a different dimension. Ooh, what is this one? It's like, uh, I forgot what that card's called. Familiar Knight, I think is the name of that one. Uh, Pet into the Dark Clown. Something about rare metal dragon or something. Oh, the Sphinx. Wait. Oh, wait, is the Sphinx in all of these? Like the movie pack? I wonder if it is. Let me know. Let me know, guys. Is the Sphinx in all of these? But the uh, Japanese Sphinxes. So these are actually pretty cool. It's a premium pack, so I would guess it is. Premium packs usually have like stuff like that. We got... Uh, I don't remember what the girl one's called. Telia or something? Andro and... Basilius is I'm probably way off. I'm just saying stuff now. But there we go. We got our three foils, so we'll we'll take them. So very movie like. Now we've got limited edition four. I don't know what this one is. The pack artwork is incredible though. It looks really good. Yeah, that's like super awesome. Okay. Here we go. What can we pull from this pack? Honestly, don't know. Here we go. Oh, cool. Queen's Knight. Is this all the knights? Oh, nice. That is pretty awesome. So you got the Queen's Knight, the King's Knight, and the Jack's Knight all in one pack. So I assume that's like, you know, guaranteed. The Japanese had a lot more packs like that where it was like, you get the same thing every time. Yeah, this one had a little bit of scuffing on it because it was on the back. But that's really cool. So those are really cool. This one is probably the same way. It probably has the same thing. Let's see what's in it. I don't really know. Actually, this one can probably open normally because it's not a long crimp. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what is in here. Can it be something epic? It's one card, so I'm guessing it's the same. Oh, it's two cards, okay. Is that Herald of something light? Pure light, white light, Herald of light, something like that. And a Skull Conductor. Okay, so I'm confused. Is it, what, what were we supposed to get from that? Let me know. I don't know. I don't know what we we're supposed to get. Are these in every time? Do you have a chance of something big? I feel like maybe we did. Because I don't think commons would be the normal thing. I'm not sure. But either way, really cool. We got some really awesome stuff from that mail. And now that we've done the mail... Let's do the 20 pack opening. Let's move these over here. We're gonna put these cards like this. We're gonna move that back there. All right, so thanks again, Zemesius. Also, here we go for Josh. We have 20 packs for Josh. Can we pull a Caius, the Shadow Monarch? That is our goal. We also could pull a rescue cat, he told me that his sister is going to steal it from him if he does what though. So maybe we don't want to pull that. A DD Crow, that's a good that's a good common. Magical Android, yeah, because if we pull a cat and his sister takes it, you know, it's like a $40 card. So, I don't know if he really wants to lose a $40 card or not. So, we'll see. Well, Josh will have to let me know in the comments. DD same same pack basically. We got uh, DD and Magical Android in the same pack. Okay. So we don't have to go too slow on these, seeing as we have, we are 20 minutes in the video almost. Kohimiro and Rechiari. Didi Crow is definitely one of the best commons, so it's nice to pull that. Then you want to pull foils, of course. Can you pull Caius? Rescue Cat! There's the kitty. The kitty cat that he will have to give to his sister. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay, Rescue Cat, that's a really good pull. It's like a $40 card. Last time I checked, so it could have changed a little bit, but it probably didn't change too much. I don't think they've reprinted Rescue Cat in the last couple sets, so they definitely haven't because I've opened cases of them. All right, Dark Eruption. So, so far, good start. Now, if you can pull the Caius, it'll be a very good 20 packs. That's definitely the best super. Okay, we got another DD Crow. He's already got a playset. So far, an incredible opening. A playset of DD Crow, a Rescue Cat. Yeah, not much to complain about here. XX Saber. Sometimes we have good luck with the turbo, sometimes we don't. It just, it feels like you don't because you get so few foils compared to a lot of other stuff, but that's just how it goes. That's why most of the foils are, have some value. DD Crow again, oh my goodness. Four DD Crow. 
All right. We got a Kaiku. Dark Eruption. Next pack. Ooh, Morphtronic Cellphon. It's another super rare. So we got two supers. The ratio for supers is pretty low. So two supers is already good. One cat, one cell phone. I'm not sure the value of cell phone. It's not as good as cat, obviously. This cat is very expensive. We got another DD Crow and a Fault Troll. Yeah, five DD Crow. He's about to get double play sets here. It's not a very big set, but still pulling two, a play set out of 20 packs would be crazy. Another one of that guy. Wow, we, we've already opened this many packs. This is crazy. Okay. Let us pull an epic ulti. Come on. Dark Greffer Ultra Rare. Okay, he's doing really good. Even if he doesn't get the ulti, this is really nice. A Dark Greffer Ultra Rare. Two Super Rares. Five DD Crow. This is very good luck for Josh. Yes, this is awesome. Come on, let's pull the ulti for him as well. That'd be pretty sweet. Saber Slash. He's got... Six packs left to pull the ultimate rare. That would be crazy lucky. That would be super crazy to pull all those cards in 20 packs. Here we go. War Chariot. Richiari. Five more chances for Josh. Hope you guys have enjoyed the viewer mail and the turbo pack opening. It's pretty fun to do both. And we've done we've opened some pretty cool stuff. You guys sit in. Some really cool stuff. And the last three videos, there's all there's been some unique stuff every single time, which is a lot of fun. I really like to open stuff that I've never seen before. It just makes it interesting. And we have three packs left for Josh. Can he pull something else at the end to make it epic? Can he pull the, the sixth DD Crow? He hit five, and now he's on a bit of a cold streak, but that's okay. Make sure you guys like the video if you have enjoyed it. It has been a lot of fun. Here we go. Here we go. DD Crow, there it is. The double play set. Definitely a great opening. He's done really well. All right. Can we pull the final pack, Caius? And a Fault Troll. So no Caius, unfortunately. But he did pull six DD Crow. And he pulled three foils. He pulled Morphtronic Cellphon, the best super slash anything actually the second best card behind Caius rescue cat and then a dark grepper I think it's about 20 bucks so definitely a nice opening he did really well good job josh thank you for buying those packs and i will send these out to you soon and of course don't forget you guys sent in this epic stuff and don't forget those epic cards let's get them in the light again exodia we'll see you guys later peace <gasps> Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>